So for this first question, we have 20 hundredths, and we need to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, and write the fraction as a decimal. So first, let's take our 20 hundredths, and see if we can find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. Remember, as well as multiplication, we can use division to find equivalent fractions, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. When we're finding equivalent fractions, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So, 20 hundredths is equivalent to 2 tenths. We can write 20 hundredths as 0 0.20. So, because there's a denominator of 100, we need two digits after the decimal point. But, we've seen that 20 hundredths is equivalent to 2 tenths. So, we can write 2 tenths as 0 0.2. We don't need zeros on the end of decimal numbers, because all the zero told us is that we had something equivalent to two tenths and zero hundredths, but 0 0.2 tells us this as well. Now, we have 60 hundredths. First, let's find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10, and what we do to the denominator we do to the numerator as well, and 60 divided by 10 is 6. So, 60 hundredths is equivalent to 6 tenths. If we're writing this as a decimal, we could write 0 0.60, because that's 60 hundredths. The denominator of 100 tells us that we need to use two places after the decimal point. But, if there's a zero on the end of a decimal, we don't need it, we can just write 0 0.6, and we've seen that because 60 hundredths is equal to 6 tenths, and the first digit after the decimal point is our tenths digit. So let's show what we've done here. First, we had 20 hundredths, but we saw that that was equivalent to 2 tenths. So, as a decimal, we could write that as 0 0.2. Then we had 60 hundredths, but we saw that that was equivalent to 6 tenths, so in decimal form could be written as 0 0.6. We can also show what we've done using place value counters. So for this first question, we started with 20 hundredths, but remember, 10 hundredths can be exchanged for 1 tenth. That gives us 2 tenths, or 0 0.2, as a decimal. Then we had 60 hundredths, but 10 hundredths can be exchanged for 1 tenth. So when we've exchanged all of our hundredths for tenths, we get 6 tenths, which can be written as 0 0.6.